Um, I want to talk about something that really made me laugh. Uh, you dug this out, Alex, for the rundown this week, and I'm <laughs> so glad you found it because uh, DC Films have had like an investor meeting, um, and I don't know why. I don't know why this thing becomes a matter of public record because. It's it's always hilarious when <laughs> uh, CEOs and people start talking. So um, Jeff Bukes, who is he's chairman CEO apparently. I don't even know, know why he, why he's both things. I thought Big they were the same. Man. I don't know. He's is is in charge. Said some very uh, interesting lines um, when talking about the current sort of slate of what we've had so far of DC films first one was uh, there is a little room for improvement i like little... that that's his sort of summation of, of of this these three movies that we've had so far there's, there's a little room for little... improvement no no it's not no. bad that is the understatement of the fucking century um but <laughs> his skills at playing things down continue with his <laughs> next quote where he's talking about like dc comic characters he says they have a little more lightness in them than maybe what you saw in those movies. So we're thinking about that. Mm. <laughs> they do have a little more lightness in them than emo fucking Clark Kent. Just can't so what we're gonna crack do a smile for two and a half hours. Chuck Queen and Eminem soundtracks over the top of them and hope that fixes all the problems. Oh wait, no, they've already done that one. That didn't work either. It's uh, yeah. it's embarrassing. Like I know that they have to be positive, positive in investment. Because then you end up like Josh Trank. <laughs> but you also need to be honest because you you're trying to convince these people that you're going to rectify your problems. And you're aware of your problems, and you think, yeah, we you know we've not been doing as well as we wanted to be doing. But these are the five ways that we're going to fucking set the shit yeah. right, and that's why your money is going to be more valuable. <laughs> In a couple of years, like stay in with, you know, stay invested or invest more because you'll get a return on it. Because we're going to do something good. These these people who are investing are, I mean, they've seen these films. They will have either seen them on their own, which is a shame, yeah. or they'll have been sat in an aeroplane going to this meeting and seeing Batman vs Superman. I thought, well, I'll, I'll watch that. And then after 20 minutes gone, what am I watching again? Oh, I need but, a beer, please. Yeah, all of it, all of the beer. <laughs> they're, they're not. Please go they're on. not stupid, and this sort of fake positivity isn't going to wash with them. They're not. They're not idiots. Uh, they know that he's talking rubbish. What you do is you stand up and you say, "These were the figures. This is what we were hoping for. This is what we got, and so we've met this, but we would have liked to have more going forward." This is what our focus groups have said, that this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong. There were the facts. Well, no, Don't they can't trust their focus groups, because the focus group's like, yes, let's oh. have a movie edited by a trailer company. Yeah. Well, RottenTomatoes.com is an a exceptional focus group, and they should just sit there and go, this is what's happened. These are the pure facts. Don't get into opinions and say, we need to deal with this, this, and this. I think, mm. I think this the, is what this critic said. I think BBS and Suicide Squad got... 26 and 27 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Like it's fucking embarrassing, really. Man of Steel got quite quite a lot. It did quite well than that. 50 something. Um, but the, the latest two, kind of dismal, really, in terms of critical reception. Um, and there's no there's no downplaying it. Um, a little room for improvement. Thanks, Jeff. Like, mate, your films are atrocious. Exactly. I uh, see. I. I don't agree on the Suicide Squad front. <laughs> I don't think... I think the best way to look at it is if that was a uh, new IP. No, no. Brand new concept. If you, want, if you want our opinions on the Suicide Squad, go back to the la go last back. episode and watch... And watch me an talk hour. about it in my kitchen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it yet, Stuart? No, I'm not. Don't gonna... don't do it, Stu. We'll we'll do it like we'll get together. We'll all get really drunk, put it on, and record it, and that'll be like our fiftieth special or something. <laughs> Stuart oh, Side Squad, the DC Marathon. Oh fuck <laughs> you all! <laughs> I'm out. I mean, I'm a student, but I can't handle that. It, it would. It, all I'm thinking is like Warner, one of those kind of old boy um, companies in Hollywood hmm. that. Still, kind of do things a bit in a bit of an old-fashioned way, and what would be nice to see is them get with the fucking times, become a bit more honest and upfront. 
Just Stop like, look, pretending Marvel there aren't problems. Want to do what Marvel do. Stop hiring Zack Snyder. Yeah, that too. Like, and write the ship. Um, but we are just getting that kind of fluff out of the CEO's mouth. It's not really a very good sign about what's to come. But let's Have talk a look about... on the other, so- other side of the road. See what Disney are doing. Jobs are good. Exactly. It's not fucking hard, is it? Um, 